Okay, the first of nine exercises in the Red Solo Cup workout circuit is the push-up stack. You're going to stack up the actual cups, four on the bottom, three on top of them, two on top of that, one on top of that. So you're going to stack them up and then you're going to unstack them doing a push-up in between every time you stack a cup. You're going to watch Lindsay do this. She's not going too quickly. You gotta be careful when they get sticky. When they get sticky, it's gonna cost you time and it's gonna be extra hard. So once she gets them all stacked up, then she's gonna unstack them. Try to alternate the hands that you use. And that's the push-up stack. Okay, next in the uh, circuit is the lateral burpees. We're gonna actually do a burpee and then jump over and do another burpee. Now there's two ways to do the burpees. We have the modified version with no push-up, just like that. And then the real version right here with the push-up. You do that for a while, you're gonna get the heart going pretty good. See, you get tired quickly. And that's the Red Solo Cup Lateral Burpee Jump. Okay, the next in the circuit is the high knee jumps. You're gonna stack two Red Solo Cups, one on top of the other, just like so. And then you're gonna do some high knee jumps over it. Try to get the knees really high, just like that. Repeating over and over. Again, another exercise that's gonna get the heart going. Really good for cardio. And eventually she gets tired, just like Lisa was getting tired over there. Do a couple million of those. You're good. And that's the high knee jumps. Here we got the solo side lunges. Lisa's going to demonstrate. First, you do a squat, grab a cup, and then you do a side lunge to the side. Back to the middle, squat, side lunge to the side. Middle. And this is a great leg workout for anybody. Simple, easy. Cheating, <laughs> don't cheat. She just didn't want to hold the squat in the middle, which would have been a better workout for her. And bring it on back. Once you get into the sides, yeah. Every one of these exercises requires 10 cups, 10 solo cups. And that is the Solo Cup side lunges. Okay, next is the Solo Cup sprints. What's going to happen is she's going to grab one of these cups, launch down there sprinting as fast as she can, and stack it, and then take one from there back to here. There's five cups on each side, and she's going to have to complete all of them and get one stack here and one stack there before the exercise is done. And here she's going to go. Helps if she speeds up. Oh. And that is a solo cup sprints. The next exercise is the four point solo cup squats. You're gonna squat and kinda in a crazy eight fashion, touch each cup, squat, touch cup, and keep on alternating. Now, if you find that to be a little bit too easy, you can actually make this a little bit harder by throwing a jump in the middle. If we get her, let her go for a while, she's gonna get tired. And that is the four point solo cup squats. Solo cup. Next up is the lateral mountain climbers. Using the solo cups in the middle, put your hands on the ground and you're just gonna jump side to side. 
for a long period of time or a short period of time, it's all going to work. And that's the lateral mountain climbers. Using the same lineup of solo cups, you're going to do the push up crawl over or crossover as Lisa calls it. You're going to do a push up, crawl over, push up, crawl over. This is an awesome exercise, especially with the red solo cups in there. Again, always 10 solo cups. And that's a push up, crawl over. Okay, what we have here is two exercises that we can use for the abs. We're going to go in and out, side to side with the cups, just like Lindsay's going to do here. Straighten the legs, in, straighten the legs, try not to touch a cup. And then we have kind of like an ab rainbow, where we're going to go straight over, keeping the legs straight all the way over. And that's the solo cup ab routine. I'm Ben Labadee and this is a Red Solo Cup workout. It's 20 minutes long. Each exercise should be one minute long and the break period in between should be 30 seconds. As you get better, each break period should turn into a light jog on the spot or jumping jacks. Make sure you do a warm up before for three minutes of a light jog or jogging on spot and after with the same, with some stretching. That's the Red Solo Cup workout. And that's the Red Solo Cup workout. Do we get on board with this? Get on board with us, everybody, for the Red Solo Cup workout. And thanks to Lisa and Lindsay for helping with the Red Solo Cup workout.